All right, Cyhawk Kofi, the Bears got the Cyclones over there. Iowa's favorite. Who wins it, Iowa or Iowa State, Jasmine? Closer than that. I think it's going to be a close game, but I'm going with the Hawkeyes. I'm going with the Hawkeyes to win this one, yeah. Yeah, I agree with Dez. I think it's going to be a definitely close game. I mean, this game is always tight. Yeah, I've got to go with the Hawkeyes with this one. Nice pick. Way to go. They won the last, Iowa's won the last two names. Go with Iowa. I'm going to go with Iowa, too, but I think it's what Eddie's saying. I think it's one of those games. You think Iowa's a better team, they should take care of business. Uh, but I, I think it'll be close. Bears yeah. over there going like this as we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 uh, we're all going Iowa. Yeah. He's yeah. on the Cyclones. Bear, outright. Bear, I'm with you. I'm on the Cyclones. I think they yeah. don't cover. I think they win it outright. TCU. In Ames, Iowa, the skies are sunny. The dispositions are not. It's the 65th meeting all time between the Hawkeyes and the Cyclones. Jason Benetti, Kelly Stauffer, Julie Stewart Binks along with you. And you know you're in a combustible rivalry when they had to stop it twice because of bad blood, Kelly. That's the way it should be, but the, the contrast in the rivalry net right now is what is intriguing to me. You have Kurt Ferentz from Iowa on one side that is almost two decades into establishing a culture that's based on knowing who we are and never doubting what we believe in. And Matt Campbell, Jason is trying to do that on the other sideline. He wants, he's kind of in the culture establishment phase. They had a great week last week. We'll see if they carry it through today. Recently, it's been either blowout for Iowa or a narrow win for Iowa State. They threw the ball 15 times in the opener against Wyoming, and the offense scuffled early. Here's a running play, Wadley. Ekram Wadley down the sideline, and he's out of bounds at the 32. Senior year for Akram Wadley, and he'll split carries with James Butler, the transfer from Nevada, who's in. Stanley to the sideline has a completion. First down goal for Iowa. Quick set to throw to Nick Easley. Easley scores! Touchdown, Iowa! You think so? Top defense they'll see. Without a doubt. Third down, no movement yet on this drive. And the pressure comes and gets to him. Anthony Nelson and A.J. Epinesa met in the backfield. The third incompletion for Stanley, but a major one that time as they turn back to the ground. Akram Wadley across the 40. Wadley shimmying into Iowa State territory. It took the defensive back, Brian Peavy, to swing him down after a gain of 35. Wrestling is big in Iowa, but you don't want it yeah. today. Not, not in this game. Stanley on play action. Turned his back, now checks it down. Butler across midfield, shakes a tackle. The running backs for Iowa owning this drive, and a first down for Butler. Easley and Vandenberg, the receivers, two tight ends. Stanley to throw to Vandenberg, the senior. He leaps and he makes the catch, diving into the end zone. 17-yard touchdown for Vandenberg, extending the arms for the score in the first Iowa lead. Stanley play action. And he dumps it down to the fullback. Kulik, wide open space. Green grass down to about the 35-yard line. It took Edwards to chop him down. And Stanley makes a good choice on the check down. And third and 10 or more for Iowa today. Stanley the sophomore. Pocket holds up. Down the middle, wide open. First down across the 20-yard line. T.J. Hawkinson, the redshirt freshman, got 24 on third and 15. Single high safety again here. Play action for Stanley. Rush coming. Stanley gets it off inside the 10-yard line and toward the pylon. Hawkinson again out of bounds just before he got in. Kulik and Wadley in the backfield. From the one for Iowa. Wadley soaring in. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! Fourth down one for Park. 
To pass on fourth down, over the middle, Hakeem Butler, touchdown Cyclones! A 30-yard strike with nobody anywhere in sight! Going to bring in the big guys now, Chase Allen, the tight end, as they pitch it to Montgomery. David Montgomery keeps his feet, a flag comes in. Montgomery driving in! Touchdown, David Montgomery! Wow! Flag down, we'll check the marker. I think it's going to be a face mask as Montgomery was fighting for extra yards. There was an Iowa defender that got his hand on the face mask. It'll be declined, and I think this is going to be a touchdown. But, man alive, that guy yards after contact. Personal foul. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense number 19. That pill will be enforced on the kickoff. The score is good. Iowa trailing by 10. Nate Stanley, sophomore quarterback, goes on the check down for Easley and Easley to the outside for a first down to get. First down, Iowa. Under nine and a half to go, down a couple of scores. Wadley reversing field, does so beautifully. Easley got a block for him downfield. Stanley. The sophomore screens it out for Wadley, turning up field. Akram Wadley inside the red zone. First down, Iowa gain a 19. It was Keegan Render popping out from his left guard spot as Stanley lofts it up. End zone, diving try. Smith Marset. What a play if it stands. Amir Smith Marset. Into the back of the end zone. I'd certainly like to use some of the clock, but you have to do what's been working, which is throwing the football. Park to throw. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Iowa. Parker Hesse with a huge turnover for the Hawkeyes. Oh, my. Third down and goal. Five and change to play. Nate Stanley to throw. Stanley throw it behind Fant. And Iowa State gives up no ground after the what could have been a disastrous interception. The junior out of Mason City, Racinos, on the kick. And he ties the game, so a young man who grew up wanting to be a Hawkeye levels the Cy-Hawk game. Second down and one for Park. Over the middle, Park wide open. Man, Hakeem Butler disappears into the Iowa sunshine. to try to get off the field right here. They will throw, it's a screen. Lazard changing direction and he is stood up by the Iowa defense. Oh, Stanley, 21 of 33. Three touchdowns, no picks. Stanley to throw, sideline route, the senior Vandenberg. And he's to the 25 yard line. First down, gate of 14, 250. Down and two. Stanley to throw. Stanley behind his man, caught anyway by Fant. A nice sliding grab to the 41. The question is, how do you do that when you're so play-action based? Stanley with a bullet to Fant across midfield. Ends inside. 
Stanley scanning. Stanley over the middle. Wadley got past Lanning. Akram Wadley inside the red zone. Wadley could go. Wadley! Touchdown, Iowa! Oh, mercy! Brian Ferentz, the play caller for Iowa, knew this year. He's an offensive lineman by trade, and you know what he knows? It's pretty simple. In crunch time, get the ball to the guys that can do something with it. A delay route underneath by one of your big play guys out of the backfield. You can't run it with him anymore. Give it to him and let him catch and carry, and in this case, carry it into the end zone and ties the game off. Third down and long for Park. Steps up, lets it rip, dropped! Hakeem Butler! Fourth down. Simply took his eye off the ball. 30 yards for Garrett Owens, the Oregon State transfer, and he strikes it through. Iowa State has the lead, 41-38, Chris Cotter. 190 total yards for Wadley. He tied the game late. Third down and four. Stanley, low snap, on the roll, to the edge he goes. Easily inside the 10-yard line. First and goal for the Hawkeyes. Second down and goal for Iowa. Wadley the tailback. smith Marset in motion. Stanley to throw, to the end zone. Iowa wins! Smith Marcel with the grab! What a comeback! He fumbled on his first and only touch in week one. In his entry to college football, and Smith Barset, if he hung on, has won it for the Hawkeyes. And this play is going to be reviewed. There isn't any doubt about it. Smith Marset goes inside on Brian Peavy, matched up one-on-one. -on -one. And once you get the defender to jump inside to prevent you from going across the field, which is exactly what Brian Peavy is taught to do, Smith Marset cues back outside, and how about the throw by Nathan Stanley to put it on time, on target, and we think in this football game. Remember triple overtime six years ago, 44-41. Different story today, same score. This has been confirmed, 44-41, Iowa the win in overtime. Thanks so much, Coach, congratulations. Your team defends the Cyhawk Series trophy in overtime. What does this win mean to you? Well, you know, it wasn't easy, and those are the kind of games I hate, but my personal feelings don't matter. You know, the back and forth, all that, but uh, both teams just competed so hard. That's, that's so uh, emblematic of this series. We're really proud of our guys hanging in there. What stands out in this fourth quarter to be able to tie things up, the response from your group? Well, the one thing we did all day offensively, we responded. You know, we uh, had a good, two good long drives first half. Uh, they took the lead there. They, they uh, just hit us with everything there in the second half. Then our guys responded a couple more times. So, you know, just really proud of their effort. Nate Stanley with his first real road test, hostile environment. How did he do? Well, that, that's one thing. You know, our whole team grew today. We've got a lot of guys that haven't played a lot. So, you know, last week was one challenge. This is a whole different one right here. If we keep our, keep our attitude where it needs to be, we'll keep getting better. Thanks so much. Congratulations. Thanks, Thank you.